Hey everybody, in this tutorial we'll create a, an example that takes three, except three numbers through text box inputs, averages them, them together and displays the average. And a few concepts that we'll cover in today's tutorial, one is uh, accepting input through tex text boxes. Uh, we'll talk about data type conversion. We're going to go from a, a string type uh, input to a, data, a numeric data type of double. And then we'll use mathematical, a mathematical operation to assign uh, to take the input values and assign uh, an average to a numeric data type. And then we're going to take that data type, we're going to assign it to the text property of a label control, and we're going to use, again, we're going to use uh, explicit type conversion to format that uh, as a percentage. So let's go ahead and add our labels. So I'm going to, uh, or add our controls, we're going to add three text box controls. Um, Use Control C and hit Control V a couple times there, and add our text boxes, and then we're going to add some labels. Um, and again, I'll hit Control C and Control V a few times. So we've got a a label for our values here, and then a label for our average, and we'll label it as average. So let's change these real quick. So input one. input 2, input 3, and then this will be our resulting average. And then our average, let's call it something more meaningful. So we'll change the name property to uh, label average. And then we need a button to, to fire off the calculation. And we'll give this a, a text label of uh, find average. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go ahead and double click on the button and, and get into our procedure, our sub procedure. And I'm going to go ahead and declare four uh, double variables. One is going to be for our first input, next is our second and third inputs, and finally for our actual average when we calculate, we'll assign it, assign it to a double variable. Um, so first, we'll say double number one. Double number two, double number three, and then finally our, our average. And notice I'm declaring all four of our double variables on a single line. You can do that uh, using a comma separated list with the, the variable names. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to assign the input values from our, our text boxes. So we've got text box, I believe it's one. Let's double check. One, two, and three. Yep, one, two, and three. You can see over here. And we're going to use the text properties there. I'm going to highlight these, press Control C, and then Control V a couple times. Make this a little easier. What? Text box three. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about type conversion. So. What we have here is we have implicit type conversion. When we're going from one data type to another, there's there's two ways to do it. We can either let the, the programming language do it itself, and that's called implicit type conversion, or we can add some code that instructs the, the language how to convert it for us, and that's called explicit type conversion. So uh, imp implicit allowing the language to do itself is okay in some circumstances. Let's talk about kind of a general rule of thumb. There's two things to consider when you're doing type conversion. One, one is, is the data type in the same category? So, uh, you know, long and int are, are numbers with no decimal places. They're in the same category of data type. Um, so type conversion between the two is oftentimes okay to leave as implicit. We can allow the, the language to do itself. The other thing to consider is whether we're, we're going from a, uh, a, a data type that holds 
uh, more data to less or from less to more. And, that, and that's called either a widening, widening or a narrowing conversion. So for example, if we went from integer to a long, uh, a long holds a lot, a lot more, a lot bigger number in it. So that's considered a widening conversion. And typically when we're in the same category and it's a widening conversion, you're, you're totally safe to do, to use implicit type conversion. Now here's, here's the risk with narrowing. Narrowing is, for instance, we've got, we're going from long to an int. A uh, long could hold more data in it, a bigger number in it, than int is capable of storing. In that case, we could lose some of our number or depending on the language, it could throw an error, an exception. So be careful with uh, your, your type conversions when going from one data type to another um, and, and use explicit whenever you can. Uh, that avoids any problems, any unforeseen circumstances. Um, so let's take a look at this example. We're going from uh, the text property, which you can see if you hold the mouse over it, uh, Visual Studio tells us that it's our text property is actually a string type and we're going to double num1 which is actually uh, type double. So we are doing data type conversion. Let's add something to explicitly convert it. So if we use the function c double, it's going to take a string or number input and it's going to actually convert it to a double format and assign it now to our, our double num1 uh, variable. Let's use that for all of our assignment statements here. So we'll go ahead and replace that. Okay, so now we have explicit type conversion for three, all three of our text box inputs. Uh, we're assigning those three numbers. Now let's take those three numbers and average them together. So we're going to say double average, and we're going to add these three numbers together using a mathematical operation here. So plus. Oh, but I had an extra character here, and plus double num three. Now, to find the average, we divide by the number of numbers involved in our average. So we're going to divide by three, and then because we're displaying a percentage, I would like to divide by one hundred. Now, be careful to use a forward slash. If you use a backward slash, now it becomes what's called integer division, and in integer division is going to truncate truncate any of the decimal places. So if, if we have uh, 3.5, the number now becomes three. So be careful with uh, what, what type of slash you use. Use the forward slash for a typical uh, division operator. Okay, now we're going to display this average in the label, and we've got label four. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the text from it, and I'll call it something a little more meaningful. Did I already do that? label average. So we're going to assign this value to label average. We're going to say it equals double average. And, and now again we have some unforeseen circumstances because we're trying to assign a type double to, and I forgot text, that's why the error message didn't mean much there, double average to our text property of our, of our label and we've got some unforeseen consequences, right, of the implicit type conversion. So in this case, when we're going from numeric to a string type, we want a little extra functionality. Not only do we want to convert the data type, but we also want to say how to display it. So we have a, uh, something we can do uh, to convert this. We could use cstir, the cstir function. But instead, if we use the double method called toString, we can actually send send in a, a value that determines how to format it. So you can see uh, format as string, so it converts the numeric value of this instance uh, using the specified format. And here's the formats we can use. We can use, uh, does it actually show you? No, it doesn't. Matter. We can actually use uh, n, which uh, converts it to a standard number format, f, fixed point scientific format, E, which is exponential scientific format, C for currency, you know, with a dollar sign or whatever, uh, whatever currency format we're in, or P for percentage. And we're going to go ahead and use that P format to show as a percentage. And that's why we wanted to divide by 100 because we want to display as a percentage. Okay, so let's quick review here. 
we've defined four double variables, one for each text box input, one to calculate the average. We're using explicit type conversion to go from a string value to a double value. Uh, we're accepting all three and, and storing all three of our text box inputs in double values. And then we're going to go ahead and use a mathematical operation here to calculate the value of the average. Um, and then because we're going to display in a percentage format, we're dividing by 100 and assigning it to our average, uh, double average uh, variable. And then we're going to use the two string method of double to uh, determine uh, not only type explicit type conversion, but also the formatting of the uh, output there. Let's go ahead and save it and run it. And we can enter a few values here, 3, 4, 5, and click Find Average, and you can see that uh, something's off. 3.33%, it should be 4, right? So let's, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're doing right, wrong here. It looks like uh, the copy and paste didn't pay off for us. We've got double num, 1, we had 2, and 1 again. So let's go ahead and change that. So now we're inputting 1, 2, and 3 from text box 1, 2, and 3. And then we're going to add 1, 2, and 3. Let's go ahead and run it again. So let's enter value 3, 4, and 5, and click Find Average. You can see it calculates 4%. And then we're assigning it to the label's text property, and it displays it in the label. So we can enter you know, any numbers here. and it will find the average for us. So a handy little app, and, and it's important to consider those uh, you know, type conversions, whether you want the, the language to do it implicitly or you want to do it explicitly. Make sure that you consider whether the data type is in the same category and whether it's a widening or narrow, narrowing conversion. Um, note that we can use mathematical operators. Remember the old saying, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally with VB. That is the standard as well, parentheses change the order of operations. So we've used parentheses to make sure these, these addition operations happen first. Uh, exponents next, then multiplication, division, and then addition and subtraction. Uh, so we've used a mathematical operation here. And then also we've used uh, uh, the two-string method of our numeric data type to uh, convert, not only explicitly convert our string to a, a number type, but also to, de to determine what the formatting of, of that string is going to be in its output. So thank you. Uh, practice those type conversions and, and outputting some values. Try out the different uh, two-string formats. Um, let me know how it goes. Thanks.